Optum has been revived by two art students from Leeds who have converted an old shoeing forge at Bramham into a pottery. They work in red and white clay. Everything is hand-thrown, as it's called, and they claim that no two articles are made alike. The tapered fingers of a clever artist fashion a vase on a simple potter's wheel. Now the neck is taking shape, and its contour depends entirely on the skill of the artist. Tiles, ornaments, and figures of all kinds fall to the lot of the fair potters. And when they are modelled, there's a great deal of detail work to be done before they come to the paint stage. Some of the figures are made in moulds, and these mean the use of a fine clay that's been specially prepared. The powdered clay is sifted and mixed with water, and now it's the right consistency to pour into the plaster of Paris mould. Hatching out of his plaster cast are the makings of a Javanese dancer, and when the girls are finished with him, he'll be a swell fella. In their hands, men are but creatures of clay. 